So today guys, we are gonna be showing you guys a few items that I think you guys might wanna get, whether you guys are new, returning, or even some veterans, you might find something in this vendor reset. So the first item is gonna be here at the vendor. This is the clan vendor. Same vendor that's at DC. You have one in New York City, obviously. So the first item is the grudge. It's actually a pretty decently rolled one. Has SMG damage 11%. 4% off of max, it has critical hit chance 19% and rate of fire of 3.8%. I would swap out the rate of fire, throw something on there like damage targets out of cover, and it comes with perfect vindictive. So pretty solid one. I actually like this when I run builds that don't have a lot of crit chance or crit damage, that this actually helps out, max out that crit chance, and then I can hit a little bit harder too. So yeah, this is actually a pretty good one right here. There are the foundry knee pads that have pretty decently rolled armor. With weapon handling, I would probably swap out that weapon handling for anything you need and then just leave the armor roll there. So if you're looking at building a foundry set build, well, this is a piece you guys would probably pick up. Now, I don't really use the Hunter's Fury backpack that often. I just don't think that the backpack piece is worth it. So I would probably pass on this one. The hardwire holster, if you are trying to build a build around this, it already always comes with skill tier. And then you can swap out the explosive resistance for skill damage or status effects. Now they do have a stoner LMG here. Now I will tell you, the rolls on the damage targets out of cover actually turn me off a lot on this one. So I'd probably pass on this as one I would use. But if you need 15% LMG damage for your recalibration library or the 6% maxed out for your damage to armor on the recalibration library for LMGs, well here you go, pick this up. Pick up two of them if you need both rolls. They do have a classic M1A, not good at all. Uh, military mk46 another one the rolls just aren't good on here and the next item is probably this smg9 right here this has smg damage critical hit chance critical hit damage and it has in sync so you could keep the critical hit damage you could roll it for damage targets out of cover if you want um typically that's what i put on mine but it comes with in sync and the rpm on this is 825 this is actually one i would pick up if you guys have been thinking about running around with this one this one actually hits really hard has, has some nice damage because it has a little bit slower rate of fire than some of the other SMGs, but still packs a punch. So if you guys have been looking for one with NSYNC, hey, this might be one for you guys to pick up and try on your builds. Now they do have some China like knee pads that already have skill tier status effects and I would put skill damage on the health and you can use this actually on your mortar turret build. And the one piece remember gives you 15% explosive damage. There's Empress International Gloves that already has status effect skill haste skill tier. You could do a lot of different rolls with this, put skill damage on there and roll off one of the other ones it, it, or keep it out as it is and max it out. A lot of different ways you guys could actually roll this piece. Another probably I'd recommend picking up if you don't have one and you wanted to build a skill damage or status effect build. There is a skill duration mod on here for 8.6%. There is a shield health mod for 4.5%. 17.1% incoming repairs, and then another shield mod for 4.4%. And these are actually two different ones. So if you're missing the two shield health mods or you're missing one or the other, I'd recommend grabbing one of these. But yeah, some pretty, pretty good pickups, right? Now the next item is actually gonna be here at the Haven. So in New York City, there are two vendors. There's a vendor right here. We're actually gonna pass this one. We're just gonna keep going through. And there is another vendor that's gonna be way over here. Now this vendor right here actually has two items I actually thought I might as well mention. The first one's gonna be this classic RPK with 9% LMG damage, 9% damage target out of cover. You could put damage to armor for that magazine size or you could keep the magazine size if you really want to and then just max out the LMG damage. Now it does come with Frenzy which is actually one of my favorite LMG talents to put on. For every 10 bullets in the magazine, you gain 3% rate of fire and 3% weapon damage for five seconds when reloading from empty. So yeah, pretty cool one to have. Um, RPK is a beast to use. Probably one of my my favorite LMGs to use. But yeah, if you guys have been looking for this, not bad at all. You can definitely roll this a lot of different ways. It's not perfect, but it still does the job and you can optimize it. And besides the RPK, the only other item is this Empress International. You remember, we did really show you that there was another Empress International, the gloves. So if you get this piece, you already have a two piece. This one has skill tier, skill damage, skill haste. So you can roll this for status effects, however you want, or keep it as is. So if you're looking for that three piece international skill damage build or status effect build or skill build in general, well, this is gonna be one for you. I'd pick this up too. 
Now, the next item's actually gonna be in DC, so we're gonna head to the base of operation. So once you make it to the base of operation, you can head to the first vendor, the vendor right here at the very front, and let's talk to him. Now he does have the sacrifice, which comes with perfect glass cannon. Remember this has weapon damage, repair skills, critical hit damage. You can reroll that repair skills for headshot damage, critical hit chance, and then just optimize the weapon damage. And there you go, you got yourself a really good perfect glass cannon. If you guys are looking at creating a build around this, remember this one comes with all damage you deal is amplified by 30%, but all damage you intake is amplified by 60%. So if you've been looking at building around this, here you guys go. They do have a tactical AUG that has SMG damage, critical chance, health damage. I would reroll the health damage damage targets out of cover. And then look, close in person, killing a target within seven meters grants 30% weapon damage for 10 seconds. So pretty good, pretty good piece right there. And that's about it. I didn't really see any other piece that really stood out to me that I would really pick up. Just not a lot of extra pieces here. And I'm just really going through all the mods so you can see them but those were the two items that i would pick up the sacrifice and maybe this aug if you're looking at trying out the aug now the next item is going to be at the campus so we're going to head over there so once you arrive to the vendor she's actually going to have two items she has a new reliable which i already have one so i wouldn't get this one but if you've been looking at getting it with perfectly optimized 30 percent weapon handling has LMG damage, damage targets out of cover. You can reroll that swap speed and then optimize it. That's that's a pretty decent pickup. But they do have a Cheska holster that has weapon damage, crit chance, and skill haste. I would put critical hit damage on there. And this is a holster that I use on a few of my builds. Obviously, I use one that's maxed out, but this is a great starter mid-tier piece. So if you guys have been looking for this, here you guys go pick this up, optimize it, and there you go. And if you keep going down, she does have a burn strength mod for your 6.3% for your chem launcher. So if you guys have been looking for that, highly recommend picking that up. Four charges, stem charges for your hive. And that's about it right here. The next item that we're going to check out is going to be down at DZ South and it's going to be at the vendor. Now at DZ South, there is one item you wanna pick here. And for once, it's not a named item. Usually it's the name items I go for at the DZ. But if you actually scroll down, check out this chest piece right here. It's a Fenris chest with weapon damage, crit chance, weapon handling, and it already has Intimidate on there. So you could do a lot of different roles with this piece. Typically, I would probably swap out that weapon handling for critical hit damage. And man, I would really run this piece on a few of my builds. Now I will tell you that this will cost you resources. So it's 101 resources. So that's the one thing if you just wanna keep farming for it. But the rolls are so pretty good on here that I could optimize this and have a God roll piece pretty quick. So if you've been looking for a Fenris chest piece with Intimidate with red rolls, this is the one for you. And that's the only reason I'm mentioning it. I usually don't mention any of the items under the named items because they do cost DZ resources. But this is one I would pick up and this is actually the final item. So if you guys have any questions, if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. I appreciate the support, appreciate the love. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, hey, nothing but skills. I'll take it easy, everybody.